Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, it is the most wonderful time of the year. It is not Christmas. It is not New Year's. It is not Halloween. It is Girl Scout cookie season. This is the season of all seasons. This is the thing I look forward to most every single year. And now it is here. The cookie attic in me is coming out. I saw my first two packages yesterday in the office and I almost took them, even though they were not mine and I did not pay for them. But instead of feeding my addiction early in the season, I am going to prepare myself and wait maybe two more weeks before I get that first box because it's gone in a day. But today on this channel, I am going to attempt to make a Girl Scout cookie. I'm going to make the Samoa Girl Scout cookie a giant version of it. So, wish me luck guys. But before we start this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and comment at the bottom. And here we go. So first things first, we had to start with the butter. I added two sticks of butter to make one cup. Now look, I didn't have an electric mixer because we're poor, poor here. So I had to use this whisk and I just had to smash it, you know, smash, 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 Hulk smash until it became light and fluffy. But it did take a while guys, so we're going to be waiting here. But excuse my hands, I know they're kind of ashy. I, I tried to moisturize, it just, it didn't work. And I thought the butter would also help moisturize my hands. So I was gonna, you know, make it work double time. But this is the point where I kind of questioned why I decided to do this without the proper materials. So I add the salt into the flour and then I start smashing down the butter now with the fork because that whisk girl, it was not working. So I keep smashing it and now it's time to add the sugar, add some sugar, throw that sugar down lean. Right, mix that sugar, sugar in that bowl. And you know, sugar is really not that good for you. And I just feel like I put like 30 years of diabetes into this one container. And it's really scary that like someone's going to digest it. It's, it's not going to be me. But it's just sad that someone is going to take this L. But... Mm. So next I'm gonna add the flour in parts. Just mix it around, try to get in there. Just whisking away. Oh yeah, and I forgot the vanilla abstract, so I just threw that in there. I think that was like in the first step, but oops. Then I got tired of that whisk, so I started just putting my hands in it and getting down to the nitty gritty. The next step was to actually put it in a ball and um, let it rest for about an hour in the fridge. So just making that ball. So 
So now it's time to shape the dough. So first I put some flour down so it doesn't stick. Spread it around town. Then I take my dough that's been sitting in the fridge for about an hour, spread it out with my hands. Because I don't have a rolling pin. So I thought a great substitute for a rolling pin would be this, um, this green bean can that I have. I feel like it worked. It was going to do what it needed to do. I just take the green bean can, put some flour on it, put some plastic on it, and roll out the dough. Look at that. Then after a while, the can wasn't really like helping me, so I would like try to use the can to push stuff out, and then I would take my fingers and my hands and spread out the edges. Shaping that circle. So after I have my circle shaped, I need to make the cookie portion in the middle of it, the hole. And I thought I was going to use this bowl, but it was like way too big. Extremely too big. So then I thought to myself, why not use the can? Bam! It's not in the middle, but it's it's good enough. It's doing its best. But you want to hear something completely funny about this whole situation? When it was time for me to try to put this on the pan, I couldn't. It got stuck to the table and I had to take it all off and redo it all over again off camera. So here's my cookie after sitting in the oven for about 40 minutes. I take some melted chocolate, spread it around, getting all the holes and cracks and crevices that you know I got from the oven. I took some chocolate chips and I milled them down in the microwave in a glass cup. And we're just spreading around to make like the base, the bottom part of the Samoa that's all like chocolate. Okay, so when I tried to pick it up to do a thumbnail, it broke, but we're gonna taste test it. God. Let's see. It definitely tastes like a Samoa. The bottom 
has a chocolate on it. And then the top has the coconut and the caramel. I think it's worth it. I okay. got all my materials from the dollar store. Obviously, it's just easy, and you can support the Girl Scouts by just buying the Girl Scout cookies. But this was fun, too. Oh, it's breaking. Oh, God. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. And tell me what other videos you want to see. You know, and tell me if you liked watching me make this cookie today. But until next time, guys, bye.